Welcome to our visual guide on how to set up your Buddy Rider bicycle pet seat. First, we'd like to congratulate you on your purchase of the Buddy Rider. It's important to note that the Buddy Rider is a bike seat for small to medium sized pets. We recommend reading the safety precautions in the manual before you begin your setup. We are dog owners, so we understand the importance of safety when it comes to that little family member of yours. That is why we've created this visual guide on how to set up your pet seat to make sure that your loved ones are as safe as possible and content with you wherever you go. To start, let's do a quick inventory check to ensure that all of your Buddy Rider parts are included. You should have four red screws and one blue screw, as well as their accompanying washers, two Allen keys, a quick release pin and R clip, a bike seat post receiver with four screws, hex nut fasteners, washers and a small wrench, a metal support arm for the receiver, a collar, and of course, the bike seat itself. This includes a foam pad at the bottom of your Buddy Rider seat for more comfort. You can purchase the Buddy Booster Cushion Insert Accessory for an additional cost at BuddyRider.com. Let's start by raising the front platform and securing the center arm support with the blue screw. Don't forget to use your washer here while fastening. Be sure not to over tighten as you don't want to damage the plastic. Next, you'll want to attach the collar to the straps. The clips will be in the front and behind the neck and connected to the Buddy Rider via the straps on the sides. You're ready to see if your dog fits. The Buddy Rider is designed for pets between 2.7 kilograms to 11.34 kilograms. That's about 6 to 25 pounds. But remember, pets come in all different shapes and sizes. With the Buddy Rider seat placed on the ground, try placing your little buddy in the seat to ensure that they fit comfortably. Praise your dog here while they're sitting in the seat and give them a treat to help them feel comfortable. If your dog is nervous, you may have to repeat this process a couple of times until they feel secure. Before attempting to attach the receiver, it's important to note that you'll need at least 1.75 inches or 4.45 centimeters of height exposed below the saddle to make that connection. If your bike has a suspension seat post, this must be replaced with a rigid seat post. If you have carbon fiber or a titanium seat post, you'll need to replace it with an aluminum or steel seat post. Since the receiver is made of aluminum, mounting it on carbon fiber or titanium could cause damage to your seat post. Next, let's attach the receiver to your bike seat with the open portion of the receiver facing up. Keep this connection as high up on the seat post as possible. This will give you, the rider, more leg room when pedaling. Once you've adjusted the height, use the wrench provided to tighten the bolts and fasten it securely. Now that we've attached the receiver, we're ready to attach the support arm. Insert the metal support arm to the receiver and be sure that the plate where the dog seat will eventually fasten to is facing flat side up. Great. You're almost ready to start riding with your new buddy rider. The next few steps are about adjustment and alignment to ensure comfort for you and your dog. Position the seat on the arm as forward as possible without interfering with your handlebars or steering post before you secure anything with the red screws. Mark this position with a pencil if you like or you can simply eyeball it to see which holes will align best. This will give you a good reference when it comes time to secure the seat. It's now time to secure the buddy rider seat to the support arm. Find the closest pilot holes that you're able to use. Using the four red screws and washers provided, mount the pet seat to the support arm. Make sure all four screws are in position before tightening and be sure not to over tighten. Well done, now it's time to assemble the final product. Install the assembled pet seat and secure the arm to the seat post receiver using the quick release pin. You'll need to make sure that you align those drill holes to insert the quick release pin easily. And lastly, be sure to secure that with the R clip Your Buddy Rider seat is fully assembled and ready to go. But before you take your little buddy for a ride, we've got some other tips for you. We want to get our little buddy comfortable with the bike seat while it's attached. Place your dog in the seat, secure them by fastening the harness, and walk your bike around a little bit with your dog and your Buddy Rider. Shower your dog with love or a treat for being such a good boy or girl. If your dog seems comfortable with the Buddy Rider pet seat, it's time to ride. We recommend taking your dog for short rides to start. Once you and your little buddy are comfortable with your new buddy rider, you're all set. Before every ride, double check that your screws are fastened tightly. 
Don't forget that your dog is family, so be responsible and ride safely.